Hello again, it's Farmer Anne, and I left off last time talking about pairing flavors. It's something that we do intuitively, and as there's more discussion uh, in a lower level, uh, the everyday person begins to think about, but you think way back to ads that promoted peanut butter and chocolate, something that we take for granted. Uh, Reese's a uh, peanut butter and chocolate pairing is the number one selling candy bar in the United States and has been for a long time, overwhelmingly. Um, that salty sweet has now expanded and we're getting bacon maple donuts and we're kind of bringing a wider range of uh, unconventional food pairings into uh, more and more people's homes and lives and personal food choices. So uh, flavor pairing theory centers on the idea that I talked about a while ago, um, chocolate has between 800 and 1200 flavor and aroma components um, that can be detected. And so you're talking about a wide range of things because food that that chocolate goes well with because food pairing at base um the simplest uh, version of it is figuring out foods that have similar chemical components uh, that make up the flavor and aroma um it feedback and information that we can detect as human beings through our nose and our taste buds and um there's also a texture component uh, that's odd and it's a very strange sort of thing, but we'll talk about that another time. But the, um, the flavor pairing theory at base is how do you um, match up foods that don't usually, we don't usually think go together. And if you can look at the baseline of what are the chemical components in this food that match with the chemical components in that food? So you think about peanut butter and chocolate. And my understanding now of chocolate allows me to go, oh, well, no kidding, they go along well. When you think about the things in peanuts and the flavor descriptors that we use in peanut products, uh, so nutty, roasty, um, the, the, um, some of the, um, more spice components that are not talked about a lot in peanuts, um, but that exist. And then there's, um, some earthy notes in peanuts. All of four of those are fairly prominent in even mid-level quality chocolate. I've said this before and I'll keep saying it again, that there's a real difference between candy and chocolate. And within chocolate, uh, which I don't even consider anything under 60% uh, of ch uh, cocoa solids chocolate at all, uh, the federal standard, of course, is much lower than that. Um, but when you think about the fact that if you're eating uh, less than 50% chocolate solids, you're eating a bunch of things that aren't chocolate at all. And the problem with saying, okay, 50% is that cocoa butter gets counted in that chocolate percentage count. So I really want to play around with flavor pairings is where I got to is, well, how do I begin to explore? And it, it just came down to pure experimentation. And so I started making, mixing chocolate with all kinds of things. Now, I'm a lifelong lover, lover of vegetables, and I attribute that to the fact that my mother actually cooked vegetables well. Unfortunately, I meet a lot of grown people that don't like vegetables, and if you trace it all back, it's because their cook in their, their primary cook in their childhood probably didn't know how to handle vegetables or had a legacy of overcooking or not seasoning or some bad habits when dealing with vegetables. A more modern interpretation of why people don't like vegetables is that we spend so much time and energy and effort on proteins 
and then the vegetables are just sort of shoved to the side and maybe steamed or boiled or quickly treated with something and not given the same love and care that meat and proteins and, and et cetera are given. And, you know, that has contributed to some health problems related to food consumption as well, um, because we all have read enough or heard enough that uh, fruits and vegetables should be half of your plate or half of your food calorie consumption, which means a bigger volume because proteins are higher and fats are higher caloric counts. Um, per ounce. So again, we, you know, it's a very complicated equation, but the food pairing uh, with chocolate is an exciting uh, journey and I'll tell you more about that later.